Hello, hello my good students. Welcome back to our Battle Station Pacific Remastered Let's Play series where we are going through the US campaign, joining straight back after our previous episode, which I hope you have all enjoyed by the way. Uh, it's been very fun to make this of course, it's like I said in the previous episode, such a great game, I've always enjoyed this and I'm sure many of you would agree if you've ever played it. So, like I said, going straight back into uh, this particular uh, Let's Play, we're going with the Battle of Santa Cruz, as that is what follows on. Um, if this were the base game, we would unlock the Alan M. Summer Class Destroyer just by completing this mission. Um, it is a somewhat tougher mission if you're not too sure what you're doing and don't let and uh, just let things get out of hand. It does throw a couple things at you. So um, our primary objective is to sink the Junio. Um, our second objective is to uh, seek and destroy the carrier Zuiho. And uh, secondary objectives will pop up as they come as we progress through uh, the level there. The Hidden objectives, though, is the Vanguard the force Navy truly indestructible? Now, uh, we shall explain area. that later the on. Now, we'll what do we want to choose for our special unit? And I think that has got to go down to um, a choice of planes here. Uh, we could either upgrade our fighters to the P-80 Shooting Star, the Jet Fighter. Uh, we could go to the P-51 Mustang, which is very, very tempting for either of these. However, there is one thing that uh, we want to test if uh, the remastered mod has possibly balance, and that is the absurd damage that the Tiny Tim uh, equipped Avengers do uh, in this game. So we are going to try that. And uh, a lot of our success will be based on this because we will be relying on this completely as well as our fighters, of course. But so I think the Wildcats uh, will be just fine uh, against any zeros and vowels and such that say uh, they send at us. So uh, without further ado, let's get straight into this. are the only two operational carriers we have in the Pacific. It's not a good situation to be in. We've got an enemy carrier in sight. Subsector 298 to 314 degrees. Scout bombers taking off to check coordinates! then so I imagine we are just limited to just the wildcats right, intercepting some uh, really bad news there system should stop the enemy even seeing the target let alone being close enough to release the payload really liking the uh mild reskins actually on some of these aircraft and things it's so so good I like um, the richer navy blue on these wildcats actually and just some minor details on the uh, flanks of them as well it's really really nice to see actually it's done a great job with this uh, remaster enemy strike aircraft incoming battle stations Alrighty, so we do have some vowels and cakes coming, and that's a great start. <laughs> it's a great start. Um, I'm just going to land and decommission this one, and we can relaunch another <laughs> another flight out. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a little bit of a hindrance, just a mild hindrance as we start uh, the mission there. <laughs> just a mild crash, but it's okay. We are an ace fighter pilot, we can take on some Kates and Vows uh, without many issues, I'm sure. Um, I'm hoping uh, regular viewers are interested or enjoying at least uh, the slight change from War on the Sea to Battle Stations Pacific. Um, it is certainly, as you can see, far more arcadey than um, the simulation style of uh, War on the Sea. That is part of its charm, actually. Do have the RTS style mixed in with the arcade, which is absolutely brilliant. I've never seen anything quite like it, to be honest, to even follow after this. It's a genre that uh, I imagine could be fairly difficult to pull off, but as Battle Station Pacific has shown, 
it's really really good once you have pulled it off properly um, I'd love something like this to come out in any sort of uh, setting be so so good of course uh, the ideal thing would be to go to the island captures and uh, drop in straight in to uh, have more influence on capturing the islands once you've uh, dropped the troops on the land but that'd be a hell of a lot to uh, deal with nearly had a, uh, a second collision there going to launch our second wild wildcat squad once again weren't necessarily needed there <laughs> So, an enemy carrier has been sighted. We are now allowed to use our strike aircraft. So, what are we going to use for them? Um, we are going to use the TBM Avengers. Uh, I believe, uh, from memory, um, this would be the Tiny Tim rocket. So, that is what we're going to choose. Uh, we will have to quickly check that in a second. Where have they been sighted? So not too far away from us at all. It is the Junio. We can't have access to that uh, Kingfisher just yet. We are rather limited to just our air groups, which is rather a shame. I am going to put our Wildcats in a forward screening position here, just to make sure they can intercept any more fighters and such on the way out. We can see that they have some Zeros already uh, performing combat air patrol and they are launching some cates off of the deck as well let's double check actually what these yes is definitely the uh, rocket there's a really nice reskin on here as well very very nice indeed so uh, with that um, from my previous experience before this mod um, which should only take one su successful full strike of these tiny tims to actually uh, sink this carrier and that will mean just three hits. Possibly four, but we shall have to see. They are extremely devastating. That's a confirmed kill. We're just going to make sure we screen these cates off. Lovely stuff. Just avoid uh, that, and we're getting intercepted by some zeros. We'll try... Get that. Nah. Force a stool there, of course. <laughs> Tactical stool, so we get to the tight turn. Zoom into range here. I'm going to use the target indicator there to help us out. There we go. We did lose one Wildcat in this squadron. We are going to have to pull back um, just so we're outside of the A range. Going to shoot some zeros as they're coming off of the uh, deck there. I mean vowels rather. Do apologise. And they've had a, another reskin as well. These are definitely zeros coming out of the lift there. <laughs> Oh, excellent stuff. So, how close are our tiny Tims? Let's see. We are going to bring in these back again just to get on those zeros, and we are going to forget about that and manually control these uh, tiny Tims. Now, Junio, what sort of carrier is it? To me, it looks a bit. I don't want to make a guess, actually. I'm terrible at uh, identifying the flasser IGN carriers, but you can see the damage there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Only three tiny Tims took it out. We did hit the magazine there to help us out, but that is absolutely devastating. Really, really good there. Sir, Hornets Task Force and the Battleship South Dakota are visual with you and awaiting orders. Nice to see you. South Dakota, join the USS Enterprise's screen. We need protection. And there we go, instantly over two we're using the South Dakota, but I am going to have to double check what's going on with the rest of the game. Okay, so they have just launched forwards uh, some uh, heavy cruisers right at us. Okay, brilliant, we can deal with them. South Dakota is certainly a match for these. <laughs> we are also going to launch off a catapult uh, Kingfisher while we have the time. So let's single fire our main battery guns, like that. 
Looks like we're getting some decent hits there. We're going for the broadside to get our rear firing turret there in position. We have hit the magazine on the leading to cow there. Excellent stuff. Oh, very, very nice indeed. The command bridge completely taken out there. <laughs> Ripping it to shreds. Let's fire off a full salvo now. This is in uh, completely point blank range. Oh, take some secondary hits there. Brilliant stuff. Just taking a while to go down though. Did miss a fair few shots there. Due to the widespread. Now, uh, what is the rest of our formation doing? It looks like the San Juan there uh, wants to just stop, not a problem. I think we're just going to use our range advantage to destroy the Tone there. Now I do wonder if that is a real Tone or just a renamed Mogami Cruiser. Because this game does take some liberties with that. How are our shots going to land? Perhaps just a little too much lead. They did turn a little to the side there, not a problem. Lovely stuff. Oh, the bow breaking off there. I think our aim was just on point there. Perhaps a little further back would have been nice to remove a gun mount. And perhaps hit the magazine. So that is what we're going to try now. Maybe even take out their engine to make sure they do sit still and don't bring any more guns to bear on us. See our shots doing a lot of damage there, which is absolutely brilliant. Going to give them a tad uh, larger lead now. See if we can get all of our guns going. Launch a full salvo there to get our secondaries off. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Looks like we've taken out a main battery turret there on the bow. Excellent stuff. This does appear to be, actually, a renamed Mogami. There we go, magazine detonation to finish it off there, lovely stuff. And we have intercepted a transmission that the enemy vanguard is uh, coming in. And we do have some destroyers coming in, so we are going to push rather heavily forwards, um, charge straight in there with our um, battleship group. We're going to move the Kingfisher over here to scout this out. We're going to keep the Avengers um, back like that. And actually, I'm going to make sure one of the Avengers actually strikes the Chikuma here. And that is going to be this one. Due to the arcade nature of this game, we can reload our armaments in flight. Uh, I understand that is something people don't like. Um, but we can change that if people really do want um, to call for that. Please let me know in the comments. We can change that so we do have to uh, land and reload ourselves. We are going to fire very quickly there. Is that going to hit? Oh, just about. There we go. Looks like we've got another one in. And one more. Not quite enough to sink the Chikuma there. We are going to have to retreat with this uh, group, though. And get back on the combat air patrol game. Because there are a lot of planes coming in. Now, we can go straight to finish this uh, mission right now. By, si by uh, sighting the Zuiho and sinking it. However, we want to go for that uh, ever so lovely gold medal, get the hidden objective. And that means we need to sink one of the members of the Japanese vanguard. And for those that don't know, we shall find that out in a second. Uh, how are we looking? We did lose a Avenger squad, not a problem there. We do only have one Wildcat in this flight as well. Tempted to actually conserve the Avengers and launch three groups of wildcats at a time because we are going to have a lot of planes coming in now until we sink that carrier, of course. Just going to get the underside of these valves. There we go. Is that an order, sir? Do as I said. 
Evacuate, Hornet. Enemy squadron destroyed, sir. Alright, oh, so we are going to have to do the famous uh, sinking of the Hornet there, which is rather unfortunate for us. Would have loved a second carrier to help us out here. Unfortunately, not going to be the case. I'll just go to see if we can force the stall here to get that turn off. And then instantly boost out. And we should be in range here with our battleships, but we are having to sink the USS Hornet. Uh, one time you wish uh, the Mark Fives didn't work, eh? And there she goes. We are going to do it from the other side as well. The limitation of the Clemsons, unfortunately, only having two torpedoes per side of the ship, per beam. Hornet is sunk. And goodbye. Now we had no choice. Served well. Mark my words. The Japanese will pay for this. Okay, so like we said, we are going to get right into this fight here because we're being rushed by some destroyers. <laughs> a lot going on. Very lucky they've not launched any torpedoes. We can't see any in the water just yet. And especially since they do appear to be Shimakazes. And of course, <laughs> very famous for their torpedo armaments. Very, very deadly uh, torpedo ships there. Having 15 torpedoes uh, available at once, which is disgusting amount. Absolutely no match at point blank for the South Dakota though. So how are we doing? Let's launch some more Wildcats. Um, let's launch some, I know I said I probably wouldn't, but let's go for some more Avengers as well. And let's move these Wildcats up to actually uh, uh, patrol over the South Dakota because that is what is actually moving forwards at the moment. We're going to launch these straight over once they get out. TBM Avengers can sit back actually in this sort of position here. Do seem to be getting some sort of unknown contact on the edge of the uh, map there. That will very likely be the Vanguard. Are we going to move uh, the um, Enterprise to the centre here if we can? No, we do not have direct control over it, which is rather a shame. Can't only launch the planes off, so we are going to have to keep our battleship group very close. And we can see just coming to radar range the um, Suiho. But we do have, once again, flights of Kate, so let's try and get that on the map so we can see exactly where they are. Right beneath us, coming straight in for an attack in this run onto our battleship. And while our battleship does have formidable A, cap is that much better. Oh, it looks like it did drop there though, and it's going to miss. You can see, uh, oh, it's looks not snap that bad. Lovely stuff. Okay, uh, let's go for these closer Kates rather than those Judies. And actually go for a flank on them. If we can just match their speed on the turn. Looks like our A is doing very well though. Only one left when we get on the turn. Brilliant stuff. So, this would appear to be the Vanguard. Where are our second Avenger group? Let's go straight over for it. And we are going to try and uh, coordinate our attack there to sink a Congo battleship straight off because three Congo battleships, as well as some destroyer escort against uh, a Northampton Atlanta and a few destroyers, or well, two Atlantas, but uh, not going to go well there at all. What sort of range are we from there? 4.6. I don't think our torpedoes have the range for that, unfortunately. Very, very sad there. So while we're waiting, going to get straight back on the uh, air patrol game. And get these ruddy bloody vowels. The fighter badge for destroying a certain amount of planes in a fighter. There we go, easy stuff, easy stuff. Ace pilot, of course. <laughs> oh, I remember uh, when I was young and started this game, I had no idea what I was doing. It's actually a fairly tough mission for me. Oi, nearly, nearly dodged it. <laughs> Do have some zeros to contend with now. They are going to absolutely wreck us. Do need to fire off some more Wildcats from the Enterprise there. Uh, let's try and get them on the turn. Nope, we've got a stool. Get a stool again. The zero's turn there. Really outmatching us. Really wish we had some Hellcats. 
And uh, you know what, the Mustangs probably wouldn't have been a bad choice, but I think the potency of the uh, Tiny Tim is certainly going to pay for itself in a second. Let's just move around again, try and get this 1-0 at least. He's right on the flank. There we go, of one of our friendlies there. This one's actually got some distance, so let's try and catch up to them. They're going in for another turn. Lovely stuff. We do have some cates we've missed though. Looks like our Avengers are getting in though on the Congos, so we are going to tell our groups to attack the main Congo here. What do we have? Hye and Harna as well. I think uh, Hye probably my favourite, just because it's quite a nice uh, rolls off the tongue there, the, the word Hye. Okay, cool. So, gonna aim for its magazine if we can with this strike. I'm gonna uh, dodge and weave the flak. We can launch from here though because rockets do have the decent range of course. That's not going to hit the magazine but we'll go for the engine and we'll make the second strike that much easier. Where are we? Just hit, just in time to manually do this. Don't want to entrust it to the uh, AI there. The uh, leading destroyer, the Kagero there, lost its magazine. Perhaps we can go for the Congo's magazine here. Let's go straight in. The rest of our squad already firing and it is down let's pull out looks like we did lose uh, an avenger group there so we're going to pull up one more uh, where are our wildcats so just take some time to calm down on the map here cap over the south dakota there please and these three wildcats in this group actually very nice indeed actually it's time to go straight for these gates and what are we doing with this group here we should really be moving out uh, this is going to get absolutely wrecked. So we are going to have to just rush the Zwiho now. What? Uh, did we get any naval supplies from that? We did not. Okay, not a problem there. Going to launch off one more Avenger squad just for luck. And launch a couple torpedoes from the weak Clemsons there. Can we actually get any decent shots off with the Northampton? Just out of range, very limited with our cruisers. And just out of range there as well, we are then going to tell them to retreat. Did destroy those cakes on the map there, brilliant stuff. We're going to have to go straight in for these zeros, I think. And get our Avengers off just because the Zwiho is now retreating. It does not have very long at all before it's off of the map. And that is certainly not good at all. Cannot be allowed to escape. Can we get one of these zeros on the approach there without crashing? Oh, maybe not, maybe not. But at least it didn't crash. <laughs> All right, they're going for the turn over there. Can we get this one? There we go, lovely stuff. And they've got some more Kates being launched as well. Move the Northampton up to keep sight and to try and intercept the Congos as well. Can we get sight on the Kates? Yes, we can, lovely stuff. Waiting for the uh, TBM Avengers to come in as well and that as we hope shall be as good as sunk there we go lovely stuff on there just one more case in that group looks like they're no nope, certainly not retreating do have some more zeros just launched off as well fresh squad there that's one down <laughs> and another <laughs> can we get one more before we go down, yes we can indeed, and our Avengers are very close as well, 3.3 kilometers away, not going to take long at all, we are going to engine boost as much as we can while their fighters and such are occupied, and while their AA is occupied with our Wildcats, a brave decoy indeed, <laughs> going to get a little bit higher, and I think we're going to go for the long range shot here do fire just off here follow the rocket through not looking so bad there oh get right on the deck that might have hit the <laughs> might have hit the plane rather than the ship there <laughs> so it is going to take the second uh, strike here so let's go straight in for that and actually watch it from our plane blocking the view there unfortunately but it is going down Mission successful, brilliant, brilliant stuff indeed. Go home and celebrate. The loss.
loss of Hornet was a serious blow. We currently have only one operational carrier in the Pacific. We were forced to retreat, but with two carriers destroyed, the Japanese had to give up their further operations. It's a tactical victory for them, but in the long run, the strategic advantage is clearly with us. Alrighty then, so a very nice well deserved gold medal there, very nice uh, score there, so like we said sinking a battleship from the vanguard force was in fact the hidden objective there for those that don't know and uh, the secondary objective coming off there, the tragedy of uh, sinking the poor USS Hornet there. But uh, that is going to be it for today ladies and gentlemen, I think we are going to do a say one at a time sort of format. One battle a day I think is fairly decent. We do have the defence of Henderson Field to come in the next episode. And uh, that is one... There's a lot of uh, air combat in that one. Very, a lot of air combat. And it can be a tad tough once again if you do not keep on top of everything. So we shall see about that later on. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. It's very much appreciated. Uh, please leave your comments in the section below for any feedback you might have. But in the meantime, I've been the Edify Gamer, and I hope your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.